If you're in the LA food scene, you might have heard of a restaurant called Shoku LA. I think Shoku LA is like a private dining concept restaurant, almost like a like a modern day omakase. I've been following them for quite some time and their dishes look so amazing and I've always wanted to go. In order to book them, I believe it's almost $1,500 a person. $1,500? $1,500? I'm going to throw up their IG page so that you guys can kind of get like an idea of the things that they cook. They only use the best ingredients like A5 Wagyu, Kobe. Foie gras. As of right now, they're pretty much my biggest source of motivation in terms of cooking because I think they're so like innovative. I've tried to copy two of their recipes so far. Wagyu chalupa that I'm gonna post right here. Wait, what else did I make? Oh, the cinnamon French toast ice cream that I'm gonna put right here as well. Yesterday, I was on their IG story and they posted this. How do you pronounce it? I think it's Mel Fierly. Mel Foy. What? I've never really had that type of cake. So this morning, I'm gonna go to a cafe, get some coffee, and then try that cake while we're at it. Okay? Let's go. For the outfit, we have a black t-shirt from Uniqlo. The Uniqlo has the best t-shirts. For the pants, we have Denim Tears Light Wash Levi's. Which, as of right now, I think these are like my top three favorite pair of pants. Just because I love that rugged paint look. And since we're going with the painted jeans, I decided to bust out these Paranoise Air Force Ones. I don't know. I think these will just go well together with these pants. Very small and cute bear chain from Vitali. And the 100 Thieves Black Dad Cap that I wear almost every single day. Holy shit, that was the most fancy pastry shop that I've ever stepped foot in. They had jazz music playing in that bitch. Got it though. Okay, they didn't quite have the cake that I wanted. So I got the next best thing, which is the Napoleon cake. This cake is slightly different from the milk crepe that we're aiming for. I don't know what the difference is though. Okay, how the fuck do you eat this, bro? This is literally harder than my pizza. I managed to cut one single piece out. Cheers. <gasps> Cheers. Mm. It tastes exactly how you would imagine it to taste. Okay, you have three pastry layers and in between those layers you have cream So you get the crispiness of the pastry sheet, but you also get the slight sweetness of the cream It's okay. This purchase was because I didn't want to just get a cake I wanted to make my experience worth it So I got myself some macaron the person gave me this card so that I could choose how much of what flavor that I wanted So we have the vanilla strawberry earl grey pistachio and lemon Wow, pistachio. Mm, literally so soft. Okay, this is also a side note, but I'm in West Hollywood right now, and can someone tell me why, like, everyone here has hella ass? Like, I'm not talking about the girls, I'm talking about the dudes, bro. I've been here for 15 minutes, and I've seen, like, 20 dudes that are hella caked up. Just hella ass on a random Thursday. Like, what? Pause. Dear Newt, this is no one closed, bro. Hope you love it and expect a hard fit on you. Grails made in korea on instagram i probably follow like 80 percent like clothing account and there's this account that i follow called no one clothes and this dude has like such amazing style it's like totally my style as well and randomly last week he dm'd me talking about yo let me send you a pair of my pants of course i had to say yes every time i film the fire department wants to come like these are a pair of his khaki bondage pants. Essentially, they kind of look like chinos, except on the sides they have like these straps right here that you can adjust. There's a button at the bottom so that you can adjust the flare. And as you can see, it's Cobrax, one of the best hardwares you can get. And the zipper are Riri zippers as well. I get it, okay? If you're not into clothes, you're hearing me say Cobrax and Riri, and you're like, eh, cool. Let me do me, okay? If you're into clothes, you can appreciate these things. And this is how the pants look like sitting down. This is what it looks like standing up. As you you can see the straps are for some people and some people might not like them but for me personally i'm rocking with it you know i think it looks cool it's definitely like a nice switch up from other pair of pants and yeah pretty cool pretty sick Okay, I'm running late. I'm about to go to a food festival in LA called the 626 Night Market. And this is kind of like the fit going on. Peep the drip. Shee! Starting off, we have like a navy coach's jacket that I got off grilled for like 20 bucks. Tank top is from Uniqlo. Okay, these pants right here are zipper pants from a Korean brand that I completely forgot the name of. But I like these because there's like zipper pockets. You can zip this right here, put some gummy bears in here or some shit. Maybe a Snickers bar. As well as the sides. Ah, for a little flare at the bottom. And for the kicks, I'm wearing Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Force One. The leather on these are crazy. Normally, whenever I wear navy, I never wear black as well just because like it darkens the outfit too much. But in this case, the navy jacket is separating by a gray tank top and we have some more light at the bottom to balance everything out. So I think we can get away with this. I think it's I. We're just going to a food festival. Eh, whatever. Nothing crazy. All right, I gotta go. It's like 12 o'clock.
o'clock right now. I just got back from the event. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that came up to me and said hi. I met so many of you guys. It was super cool and fun. Um, thank you. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I didn't get much. I do have some cool pickup. Cool pickup number one. This is like a turquoise pastel blue type of vase. There's like a cactus that pops out that you can feel. And this right here is actually a real succulent. Like this is my first real plant. Yeah, I hope it doesn't die. Second cool pickup. And this one, bro, I'm so fucking good. Ah! Okay, this right here is a Prince of Naruto. And as you can see, we have the nine tails. The cool thing about this is on this side, you have Naruto, right? And you could actually follow through his journey. And when he meets Jiraiya, when he and Sasuke fight, follow his journey, da 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 da. He learns Sage Mode, Madara, Ten Tails, whatever. And he becomes Hukage in the end. Uh, this shit is so sick. And on the right side is Sasuke's journey, all the way to the top, too. Oh, yeah. And this is the artist right here if you guys wanted to follow them. Shout out Chris, big Chris in the building. This morning, I ordered breakfast and I got myself a breakfast burrito and an iced latte, okay? Guess how much that costed. Okay, go ahead. Guess, guess. $30. Big <laughs> one. Bro, sometimes I just want to go back home. Uh, would I? Fuck no. But I thought about it though. And I was really thinking to myself, like, why am I ordering out every single day when I know how to cook? Like, literally, I built my whole entire social media career off cooking. Yeah, I don't meal prep and shit. Like, I just got back from Ralph's right now, which is like a grocery store in LA. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. First and foremost, the parsley, a bunch of broccoli, carrots, or as my mom would say, carrot, chicken thighs, just because I hate chicken breast. And lastly, we have ourselves some fruit, which is watermelon for today. Last time I got myself a watermelon, I think I underestimated how big a watermelon is. And when I cut it up, I had enough watermelon that I was eating it every single day for like a week and a half straight. So this time I just got it in a container. Okay, this is the prep. We have the broccoli, we have the carrots, chicken thighs. Ignore the toothbrush. I do not brush my... <laughs> I do not brush my teeth in the kitchen sink, okay? I was using that to clean the stain off my pants. Okay, let me take this shit. But yeah, anyways, this is the before and this is the after. Chicken thighs seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, cayenne pepper, paprika. I seared it in avocado oil, basted it with butter, and finished everything with lemon so that it can brighten up the dish. We have broccoli, carrots seasoned with the same thing, garlic powder, onion powder, salt. Except this one, it had brown sugar on top to make it more sweet, you know? And the best part is I made this for about $13 because my watermelon was 14 so... I mean, what's for? What's for? Bro, I'm still pissed about that burrito and coffee. It costed twice as much as this, and it wasn't even nearly enough food, you know? So, cheers! Ah, uh, choo choo! Bro, so juicy. I'm getting the little notes of lemon. Mmm. Speaking about lemonade, yes, I did get a perm. Okay, it's like still kind of too curly. I was really just going for a little wavy, um, but we'll see how it looks as it grows out. You guys know I'm a hoe for shoes, okay? And today we just got a pickup, fresh, just touched down in LA. Off-white Air Force One lemonade. I just want to take a sip. Never in my life have I owned yellow shoes, and I really never thought about it as well, but as soon as I saw Virgil post these, I knew I had to have them. This one isn't really like a yellow that's too bright. It's kind of like more of a mustard yellow, but this is what it looks like. This right here kind of scares me because if you scuff this, it's like game over. It's like a very sensitive material. Air in quotation marks on the sole. The inner side. Something that I noticed about these laces is that they're almost like wax or it's not fully cotton. And this is good because it gives it more of like a premium feel and it doesn't seem like it would get dirty that easily. And inside the box, it actually has a black pair of laces as well which i've seen some people swap out the laces and they look crazy this is the hang tag which is weird because it has no text it just has like furry this is almost like the kiwi fuzz you know how like kiwis are fuzzy i'm not gonna lie though the thing that makes me so nervous about these is part right here is like exposed foam i've seen people wear the mca air force ones and over time they get hella yellow around here you know how like when you don't brush your teeth your teeth gets yellow it's the same concept which i guess i wouldn't mind because the whole shoe is pretty much yellow so yeah shout out the plug christy so cute Cute. That is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys are feeling my hair, bro. Because I don't know how I feel about it yet. It is just like wavy. It's not like curly, which I want. You know, I don't want like ramen noodle hair. Before I go, I do want to say that this morning I looked up like COVID cases in LA. I don't know where you guys are from, but the cases in LA are literally hella erect. The graph was like this and now it's like zoop.
Huh? Where are you going? You gotta reinstall it in your head. Okay, stay safe. Do not be hugging people and dapping up people that you don't know. Okay, wear a mask. Get vaxxed, maybe. Look into it. But honestly, I don't even have to tell you guys that because I know every single person that watches my videos graduated from Harvard. Literally, all of you guys have good credit and most of you guys have an IQ of over 200. Okay. Some of you guys, though, that IQ might be negative. Uh-oh. But yeah, anyways, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.